One thing that I think holds back every non marketer who is attempting to do music marketing is the fact that you don't think like a music marketer. You think like an artist that understands music marketing or a label owner that understands music marketing or whatever you want to call yourself that understands music marketing, but you're not thinking like a marketer. See, marketers, man, when you're in the field of marketing, we got to keep our cool at all times. We got to look at the data from over here, look at the data from over there, put it together and make sure that whatever game plan comes out, the data makes sense. And, and then hopefully it works, right? And I honestly think that holds back a lot of artists, right? So rather than me holding all the gems in my secret vault, locking it away, throwing the key out the window and making sure that you never learn these things that you need to learn to make sure that you can think like I think, think like other music marketers think. I'm gonna give you some tips in this video on how to think like a music marketer so it will make your life a little bit better. Let's get into it. It's the network. What's going on? My name is Corey, music marketing co-founder of Country Brand Agency. And today I wanna talk to you about how to think like a music marketer. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I honestly think that a lot of you are being held back by the fact that you don't know how to think like we think, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't know how to think like a music marketer. You think like an artist who does marketing or a producer who does marketing. I won't go through that again. You, you, you get what I'm saying here. You don't think the same way that music marketers think. And one thing that I tell my clients all the time who are, you know, honestly considering maybe doing marketing themselves or something like that is that there's a certain mindset that comes with being a marketer that makes you stand out amongst 99% of other people who tell you they can do marketing or say they can do marketing. Everyone thinks they can do marketing, but everyone can't do marketing, you know? So I wanna give you some tips, some mindset hacks that you need to get into to make yourself think like a marketer so you can improve your marketing campaigns and hopefully get better results in everything that you do. Now, before we get into all of that, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all that good stuff. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So one of the first things that you have to be okay with and you have to tell yourself in order to be a legit marketer, like this is the first step, right? Is you have to tell yourself that you don't know and you have to be completely fine with knowing that you don't know and why do I say this, right? Because you're probably thinking like, no, that's not true as a marketer. You have all this past knowledge and wisdom from past campaigns and that should guide you to the right decision, right? Yeah, you're right. That's true. That's the case. But every marketing campaign is genuinely different. And the reason that every marketing campaign is genuinely different is because it's a different person. You're pushing it to a different audience. It's a different piece of content. There are so many different variables that come into play that don't make everything work exactly the same. And one thing that I'll tell clients or potential clients before we start campaigns is like, hey, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. I don't yet know what exactly we should do because nothing has happened yet, you know? Like, I can't make those decisions until I'm able to intake data, read the data, and then now I can spit it back out to you in the actionable format of what you should do and what needs to be done. But before we get to that point, I have to be okay with the fact that I don't know shit. And I let the fact that I don't know shit guide my decisions, right? So I don't go into every campaign thinking like, oh, I have to do it exactly this way because it happened exactly like this the last time I did it for someone. Like, of course we have like structures and we have systems and we have things that we do do over and over and over, you know what I'm saying? Because they produce results. But we don't necessarily do them all the exact same way because we, we don't know if that makes sense yet. So that's the first thing that you have to just get out your, your head about is you don't really know like every time you decide to market a new song or market a new music video or market something new from yourself, the layout completely changes. Like the battlefield completely flips and it's a similar field, right? Like it's a place that you see me sort of kind of recognize, but it's not exactly like the last battlefield that you just got out of. And I've seen people go into campaigns thinking like, oh man, like I know exactly what I have to do. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't know. You don't know yet. How do you know? You don't, you don't have any data. Nothing's been launched yet. Nobody said anything. How do you know? You don't know. And once again, I think in order to be a competent and good marketer, you have to be okay with the fact that you don't really know like you think you know. But if you do it right, then you're going to figure it out and you'll be okay. Now, the second thing that you need to just like wrap your brain around in order to think like a marketer, right? In order to be a GOAT, you have to become unattached to the product and become attached to the results. Let me say it again, because that's a bar, and I don't know if y'all was listening. Turn your volume up real quick, I'm gonna pause. You gotta be unattached to the product and attached to the result. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, as a matter of fact, I want you to comment below if this has ever sounded like you, right? Or someone that you know, right? Yo, like, this song right here, bro, this song right here, like, I know this is the one, 
Like, this is the one, bro. Like, I need this one to go. This is the one that I just know is gonna go. How many of you have ever said that? How many of you have ever ran a campaign, been disappointed with the campaign because it wasn't the song that you wanted to work that was working, and then you just stopped doing the campaign because it didn't match what you wanted to be the one. I'm willing to bet that it's a lot more than you that are willing to admit that. You know how I know that? Because I see it a lot from a client side. Like I can't tell you how many campaigns we've had to stop or almost had to stop because it wasn't the song that the artist wanted to be the one that works, right? Like they'll send us a list of three or four songs that we run through and maybe song number five is the one that converts the best and has the cheapest cost per click on the ad, but they really were in love with song number two. It was their their baby, you know what I'm saying? Their, their biggest brainchild, they feel like, and, and, and they get hurt when it doesn't work. And that's why I say you have to unattach yourself from the product and attach yourself to the results. Because in most of those cases, what ends up happening is they stop the campaign because it's not doing what they wanted to do, and now they have nothing. Or they go like, yo, no, nah, I don't believe that. I'm gonna run this anyway. And then they're running, like they're not running the best optimized version of the campaign because they want to go with what they want to go with, right? I personally believe that is one of the biggest benefits of having a third party marketing team run your marketing. Because we don't feel the same way about your music that you feel, right? Like you're looking at every single song as like your baby, as a child. And as a parent, it's hard to pick a favorite child, right? Like it's hard if you're a parent of three and somebody tells you like, yo, those two kids over there are geniuses, but this one right here, man, this one right here, a little off. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that hurts, I get it. But when it comes to marketing, you have to remove emotion out of the situation and run with whatever is giving you the best result that you want to get. Now, there's other things that you can do to push people back to the music that you care about the most. And, you know, and maybe that song just doesn't make sense for the time that you're trying to do something with it. But you got to unattach yourself from the product and attach yourself to the result. Every song and piece of content that you make is another swing at bat. Does it really matter if you hit a home run on the first bat? or the third bat, no. You're just trying to hit a home run and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna say it again, you know what I'm saying? Cause I really want you to drill this into your head. I really want you to drill this into your head. Unattach yourself from the product, attach yourself to a result. It doesn't matter what gets you the result that you are looking to get, as long as you get that result that you're looking to get. And the last thing that you need to just like drill into your brain in order to be a top level OG, super saiyan marketer is you gotta understand that marketing is more than just data, right? And I get it, it's, it's very easy to just get wrapped up in numbers. You know, you got 100,000 impressions, you got 20,000 clicks, you got 15,000 views, you know what I'm saying? You spent $3,000. It's, it's very easy to get wrapped up into seeing marketing as just numbers and number man manipulation and you know, just you watching numbers grow. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that in order for you to do marketing at a super high level, you have to understand that behind those numbers are actual people, right? So when you look at a click and all you see is a click, you're doing the game wrong. What you should see when you look at a click is Josh from Detroit who loves basketball and likes to skate in his free time that likes to listen to Trippy Red and the baby when he's listening to music, right? If you look at your ass and all you see is a view, then you're doing the game wrong. When I look at views, I see Mary from Chicago who likes to go to dance lessons on the weekend and has two kids who both love Kanye West or something like that. Understanding that there are people behind these numbers and then understanding that the work doesn't end just because you got the number to go up. Now you have to do the work to decipher what the people behind these numbers actually like and what does it mean and all this other stuff. That's the next level of marketing because it's very easy for people to get caught up in like, oh, I got 10,000 clicks. That's great, we're done. No, you're not done because now you need to understand what about those 10,000 people that clicked over made them want to click over. And a lot of time that boils down to things like lifestyle and interests and hobbies and trauma and, and stuff that they're into, right? Like it boils down to things that are deeper than just an impression or a view or a click. So I feel like if you're doing marketing or calling yourself a marketer, and you're not able to look at the numbers and break it down into human elements, right? Like break those numbers down into a way that allows you to read it and figure out like who are the type of people that make up these numbers, then you're doing it wrong. If you're not even attempting to do it at that level, then you're just doing marketing wrong altogether. So that's one big thing that I stress to my team. Like I stress to my marketing team is that you have to look beyond the numbers and really start to figure out like who are the people that are, that are giving us these numbers. 
Who are the people that are viewing this video? Who are the people that are clicking this ad? Who are the people that are, that are sharing this meme? Who are these people? What are they? And of course, how can we find more people like them? And if you start to look at your marketing as more of a thing that's designed to gather people around you, rather than a thing that's designed to build your numbers up, you will have subjectively more successful marketing campaigns. That's what I think. So those are the three mindsets that I think you have to have when trying to think like a marketer, right? Secondly, you gotta become unattached to the product and become attached to the result. And that's like honestly probably one of my favorite things I've ever said on this channel. You gotta become unattached to the product and become attached to the result. Don't kill your success because the thing that you wanted to be successful isn't the thing that's been successful. I just, just don't do it. And lastly, you gotta realize that you don't know until you know and if you go into campaigns feeling like you know everything and feeling like you have all the answers before anything has been started and you're going to be just extremely disappointed in yourself you're going to feel like stuff isn't working and you're going to realize that hey i suck at marketing that's what you're going to think you know what I'm saying? you don't want to get to that point you don't need to get to that point you know that's what you got me for to keep you from getting to that point now with that being said if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you guys to miss anything once again my name is Corey, and i'll see y'all next time